Welcome to Easy Microbiology. Good morning, everyone. Today I will be presenting to you information about Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis, a gram-positive bacterium with a broad range of effects on animal hosts. I will discuss its morphology, cultural characteristics, biochemical properties, host range, and much more. I look forward to our discussion. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is a gram-positive bacterium that is facultative intracellular, meaning it has the potential to reside and grow both within and outside of the cell. Known to cause illnesses primarily in animals, it is responsible for caseous lymphadenitis in sheep and goats and ulcerative lymphangitis in horses. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is found in soil, water and on plants. It is capable of affecting a diverse range of animal species and can lead to abscesses, granulomatous lymphadenitis, and caseous lymphadenitis. Consequently, proper precautions should be taken to avoid contamination. C. Pseudotuberculosis is a rod-shaped bacterium unable to move. A gram stain reveals an easily identifiable Chinese letter, shape, brought about by the pleomorphic nature enabling a range of shapes and sizes. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is a gram-positive bacillus bacterium. Upon culturing, colonies appear slowly and have a rough texture that can also be hemolytic. It has been linked to a number of diseases such as abscesses, ulcerative lymphadenitis, and caseous lymphadenitis. C. Pseudotuberculosis is an interesting bacterium due to its varied biochemical characteristics, which include catalase positive, the production of urease, nitrate reductase, and phosphatase, and the capacity to ferment various carbohydrates. C. Pseudotuberculosis is a bacteria species that primarily affects livestock, most notably sheep, goats, horses, and cattle. This infection can lead to a range of health issues and it is essential to be aware of it to monitor the health of the livestock and to provide appropriate treatment. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis produces a range of virulence factors, such as exotoxins secreted into the environment, lipases, and proteases, giving it pathogenic potential. By being able to produce such toxins, it can colonize and cause disease. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis has gained attention for its capability of attaining resistance to certain commonly used antibiotics. This resistance is developed through the acquisition of resistance genes and or chromosomal mutations. Comprehending the ways antibiotic resistance is created is pivotal in order to counteract this hazard. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is commonly found in sheep and goat herds, transmitted between them through contaminated feed, water and fomites. Such circumstances pose a risk to the animals, and thus it is essential to take safety precautions to prevent the spread of this bacteria, in order to maintain their safety. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is capable of resulting in abscesses in lymph nodes and other tissues of animals, thus giving rise to caseous lymphadenitis. Affected areas show signs of swelling, redness and pain, and if left untreated can amount to considerable suffering and even mortality. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is an important bacterial pathogen capable of causing a range of illnesses in various animal species. To comprehend its effect on the body, a combination of innate and adaptive immune mechanisms must be taken into account, with specific antibodies and cell-mediated responses playing a role. These immunological reactions are significant in comprehending the disease and the approaches for treating it. C. Pseudotuberculosis is a bacteria that can be isolated and identified from clinical specimens, such as pus, lymph nodes, and blood, often requiring specialized diagnostic techniques like PCR or ELISA. Knowing the type of bacteria present is essential for effective treatment, as it can make the difference between a successful outcome or not. Therefore, correctly diagnosing C. Pseudotuberculosis is of utmost importance. Regarding prevention of coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis infection, vaccinations, biosecurity measures, and the appropriate use of antibiotics can all be employed. 
Vaccinations help ensure disease is not spread in animals, and any vaccinations should be kept up to date. Additionally, biosecurity measures including monitoring of stock and quarantining of new arrivals to the farm can reduce spread of infection. Finally, antibiotics should be used where necessary to treat the infection. In order to effectively treat C. Pseudotuberculosis infection, antibiotics are usually recommended. It is important to note that certain strains may present resistance to a certain class of antibiotics, so caution should be practiced when selecting an effective antibiotic. Coronibacterium pseudotuberculosis is a pathogenic bacterium that can cause substantial economic losses in the livestock industry. Early identification, along with proper treatment and the implementation of preventive measures, are essential for controlling this disease. Invite you to learn more about this important topic. Thank you for your attention.